I think it's fundamental to uh, a migration for the industry, and the reason is, is we know that uh, people 45 and under, they're, they're not uh, playing the games nearly to the degree that people over those age brackets are. And likely they're not to take it up. It's a very different experience. Millennials will hardly touch a, a, an electronic game, and not even so much on table, sometimes table games. So it's going to be necessary to put products in front of them that they're already familiar with. And so games and interactivity and skill are what are involved in a game. They're not random passive experiences as a slot machine is. That was a great product, serves the core market today, but that market is going to shrink over the years. And the new market, young people coming along, uh, are going to be that, they're going to be looking for products they already understand and are familiar with. Skill-based gaming is another avenue for us to, uh, to provide great innovation. Uh, in our case, we have a game based on Space Invaders. The Space Invaders is a classic kind of skill-based arcade title. To be able to take that into the gaming industry, the casino gaming industry, is, is very exciting and uh, people seem to enjoy it so far. We've developed a skill base and a blend. It's a, it's a morphing algorithm that combines skill and chance. And it's able to hook up to any type of genre of game, from a, a Candy Crush-like game, a guitar game, a music, dance, chess, uh, Halo, Call of Duty, whatever it is, we can incorporate this algorithm to allow chance and skill. And it's the future. Yeah, so skill-based gaming is something that we're working on here with our new Texas T pinball. And that's following Nevada regulation. And what it does is it transforms a game from a video slot into, you guessed it, a pinball machine. So when you're going through and actually hitting the flippers on the panel of the machine, you're controlling your own outcome and your own welfare in the game. It's a lot of fun. And we actually have a history with this with our development of Atari Centipede and Race Ace that we've shown in previous years. But at the time, we didn't realize that Nevada would evolve as quickly as it has. So we're very pleased about that. We have an opportunity to work with uh, King of the Cage, our mixed martial arts game. That's an opportunity for all of our players to be engaged in the fights of mixed martial arts. As you know, mixed martial arts is really surpassing boxing. And actually, King of the Cage does have live events at the casinos. So this is a very unique situation where I can have mixed martial arts, King of the Cage live, and King of the Cage slot machines in your casino. I think putting a single or a, ha a small handful of skill games just mixed in with the slot machine floor is going to not work, right? Because if you look at millennials, they want to interact, they want to be in groups. And, you, you know, a slot machine is more of a focused, solitary experience. So when you look at our different game forms here, even these stand-up stations, there's a way to see across the players. You could play, be playing against one another, much more intended to bring people together.